numbers are transformer breaker number 1 and breaker number 2 this is 33 kv transformer of capacity 2500 kva there are two transformers for reducing voltage from 33 kv to 3.3 kv and another two auxiliary transformers of capacity 100 kva are installed for reducing the voltage from 3.3 kv to 440 voltages this is 33 kv express feeder line from mscb back pressure shaft of 1.5 meter diameter and 5 meter height is installed for the rising main end uh, from back pressure shaft to till harangal junction point the line runs as gravity main for almost 43 km the line size is 1219 mm ms pipe there are 65 numbers of air walls installed on gravity main line this is Harangal junction point where the gravity line divides into two parts. One line goes to Varavanti WDP which pipeline size is 610 mm MS pipe and runs for 2.65 km. Second line goes to Harangal WDP which pipeline size is 1118 mm and runs for 3.12 km. Now we reach to Harangal water treatment plant. This is WDP building. The capacity of WDP is 80 MLD. MSCB express feeder line of 33 kV. This is an indoor substation. There are two transformers of capacity 1600 kVA for reducing voltage from 33 kV to 3.3 kV and additional two auxiliary transformers of capacity 315 kVA to reduce voltage from 3.3 kV to 430 voltages. Incomer main breaker and the vacuum breaker number 1 and 2 for transformer number 1 and 2. The raw water through the gravity line reaches to aeration fountain, the function of which is to act as a receiving point for pumped raw water. To certain extent it liberates dissolved gases also. The aeration fountain need to be cleaned once in a day. The rectangular notch is provided for flow measurement. The water from aeration fountain enters into flume channel. Mechanically operated flow meter with flow indicator is installed to measure the incoming flow of water. These three tanks are provided for proper administration of bleaching powder solution, alum solution and coagulant aid. Now the raw water enters into flash mixer. The function of the flash mixer is to enable rapid dissolution of coagulants into the raw water as intimate mixing of the coagulants is required. So 60 seconds detention period is provided and there are two flash mixer chambers of equal size. Flash mixer desludging to be done whenever required. A bypass channel is also provided alongside to enable routine maintenance of equipment. Equal length pipelines are laid to clarificators for uniform distribution. There are two clarificators of each capacity 40 MLD. The function of the clarificator is to obtain gentle flocculation of the chemically dosed water so as to 
agglomerate the flocks into a large size followed by precipitation of the same in the sedimentation chamber thus enabling clear liquid to flow to the filters flocculation period is 30 minutes sedimentation period is 150 minutes accumulated sludge will be discharged periodically through telescopic wall and direct wall bridge to be run only one round before desludging operation of pedals depends on raw water turbidity level the clarified water enters into filter beds there are 10 filter beds of size 56.25 square meter each and each bed is designed for 337.5 cubic meter per hour flow each filter bed quartz sand depth is 750 mm and gravel graded in four layers of total depth 600 mm and each bed is equipped with uh, the rate of flow meter and loss of head gauge two air blowers each of 2025 cubic meter per hour capacity and two wash water pumps of 50 cubic meter per hour each at 15 meter head are provided settled water enters the filters through the settled water channel running along both sides of the filters it then enters the main trough and cross trough and falls on the sand it filters through the sand and gravel and uh, collected by the under drain pipes and is led to the pure water channel via the controller chamber as the sediment starts depositing on the sand the resistance to filtration builds up this resistance is recorded by the loss of head gauge when the loss of head reaches to 1.8 meter the filter is to be backwashed backwashing of filters is done by blowing air under pressure through the under drain and thus loosening the bed then forcing water after air blowing is completed through the under drains thus uh, introducing a scrubbing action of the sand of the sand grains which frees the dirty matter the dirty matter is then lifted by the rising water into the water trough from where it goes to the final disposal point this gives complete view of the harangal wtp there are these are the master balancing reservoirs now we are in the well equipped laboratory in wtp we carry out most of the water analysis of the parameters here in laboratory this is lw essentials director chamber lw essentials distribution manager and project manager discussing the distribution supply issues lw essentials administration office filtration house then filtration house with the rate of flow meter and loss of head, head meters this is clear water outlet line this is air blower line clear water passing through the channel uh, these are the air blowers two numbers and a common air blower line uh, these line are the backwash pumps electrical panel board of equipments underground sump of backwash water backwash delivery line to overhead tank unaddressed liquid chlorine toners of 900 kg capacity used for administration to clear water as post treatment to maintain residual free chlorine and also used for pre chlorination also the function of chlorine dosing is to act as a killer of algae in raw water during pre-chlorination and to kill all bacteria in filter water during post-chlorination. There are four number of vacuum type chlorinators which 
each of 15 kg per hour capacity out of which two are being used for pre-chlorination and two are being used for post-chlorination. These are the panels with reading gauges. Residual chlorine of about 4 mg per liter will be maintained during all seasons in the final water leaving WTP. Ferric alumina there is a grade, highest grade of uh, 1989 in the form of cakes, stocks and TCL 34% available chlorine IS 1065 of 1989 in powder form in bags are being used for raw water treatment. Before use, desired strength solution of alum and TCL are to be prepared in chemical preparation tanks. The function of the alum is to act as a coagulant in the water to facilitate